Yes, I know I have long hair. Yes, I know I <laughs> rode my dad's coattails. Yes, I know I'm a never was. And yes, I know I suck. I, I get that all the time. I, well, I, I, let's base this argument in fact then. The fact of the matter is you don't suck. And we loved watching <laughs> okay. you on the track and we love having you here. Okay. I don't want to be the next person in line behind Richard Petty. That'd be like going to Alabama after Barry Bryant or UCLA after John Wooten. And that's not my style. dedicated to what to do and we have fun doing it so that's that's the important part of it. when I got to the pumps and found Earnhardt laughing. I don't know about the rules of this race, and he was trying to win, I was too. Kyle looked out the back window one day and saw Richard and Adam out in the backyard. And he said to his wife, well, it looks like Richard finally got the son he always wanted. He didn't have the, the expectations on him the way Kyle did. He was Kyle and Patty's son, and everybody loves Kyle and Patty. I love you, buddy. Love you. We all love you. It was all set up for Adam to take over. Grandfather says you go out there and do the best you can. Dad says you go out there and do the best you can. So, so that's what I do every time I buckle up. He'll not do it. Adam Petty will win the Easy Care 100 in Charlotte. Tremendous victory for the 18-year-old youngster. His first Super Speedway start in the Arca Series. He will score the victory. Hand out the window, pumping his fist. The crowd on their feet, cheering him on. Adam Petty, the winner tonight, a spectacular story here in Charlotte. 18 years old, wow, and we got a Coca-Cola bath down here in a big way. Here, Mom, what do you think about that, huh? Is that the first one you were able to see him win? Uh, no, you're right, I didn't get to see him win when he was at I-70, and I'm just really proud of him, and the Lord's really blessed us with a good son, and you know, it's been a lot hard two weeks on him losing Chris, and Chris has really influenced him and the guys that were here tonight, and they've really helped him the victory. Congratulations to you, Adam, your entire family. We couldn't be more happy. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Great <laughs> scene in Victory Lane tonight. Adam Petty wins here at Charlotte, fourth generation driver. There you see Dad Kyle in Victory Lane, very proud as well. 
And Adam Petty has taken the Easy Care 100 tonight. And he didn't just win the race, he drove and won the race. He did it driving, he didn't just outrun him. And it's easier to outrun him at Daytona than it is at Charlotte. So this is this is pretty incredible. I, I don't think I've ever been prouder of anything or in my whole life. The races I've won, the races my father's won, uh, this tops anything I've ever seen. What is it that's so special, you figure? I, I don't have a clue. Uh, I think the gene skipped a generation. It went from Richard to, to Adam, to tell you the truth, the way my career's gone. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't care if I never win another race. To be here tonight and do, be a part of this is, is phenomenal. Congratulations. There's the king with his grandson, Adam, in victory lane at Charlotte tonight. What a great shot. Richard and Adam and Kyle, congratulations to all of them. Coming in here last night and knowing that, that Adam wasn't here was uh, pretty hard. I'll say that. The evolution of the Petty family in this sport is coming to the end of the road. Where Kyle should be getting out of the car and be the proud pop on top of the truck, giving his son lap times, that isn't there. We were looking for Adam, sort of future of Petty Enterprises. It was all set up for Adam to be the next Richard Petty. Petty was the main reason Petty Enterprises switched to Dodge for the 2001 season. They were looking towards the future for the fourth generation driver, a future that was tragically altered when he was killed May 12th of 2000 at the New Hampshire International Speedway. And so Dad, Kyle, has taken over the mission. And can you just share with us how important this is and how special this is to be in the Daytona 500 in the 45 car? Yeah, you know, this, this is like... Um for us, you know, when we went with Sprint and we started our program last year with Adam, uh, then our whole goal was to bring that team, to bring Chris Huzzy and, and that whole group uh, to Winston Cup with Adam. And it didn't pan out like we, we wanted to, obviously, but, uh, you know, it's, it's incredibly emotional to be here. It was incredibly emotional to roll through the gate down here uh, with the 45 Sprint car uh, without Adam here. And it's been pretty emotional all week long. A couple of autograph sessions, I've, I've kind of broke down a little bit, I will have to admit. And it'll be emotional when the race starts. In church, it was a little emotional this morning, but... Uh, you know, I wish he was here, but it's just not. Thoughts and prayers with you, and keep in mind the good vibe that the last time you were at this track was in the ARCA race in 79. Last time you were in a Dodge, and you won. Wow. Look at that. And that's a slow part of the racetrack. Yeah, I can't figure it. Here's another look at it as Ward Burton comes across. After bouncing off the inside wall, collecting Kyle. Yeah, when he got hit by the 22 car, then uh, that that was a wake-up call, and then he got hit up against that wall. After he knew that was going to hurt. Diamond Kyle had no clue to catch. Uh, he just he doesn't even it. need this. Yeah, he just needs fumes. That's all he needs. Yaley second, Kyle Petty third, Reed Sorensen, Brian Vickers. No pressure, and he has got it made. He can coast. He can coast from there. He's for the National go, Guard, yeah. Casey Mears is going to win his first Nextel Cup race, the Coke 600. Good it for him. All right. Becomes the fourth Hendrick and car driver to win this year. Oh, Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty gets a third. And J.J. Yaley finishes second by far, his best ever Nextel Cup outing. What a finish. Way to go, guys. That was exciting. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, National Guard. I am out. I'm He's out of, out of gas. gas. That's okay. Yes. Yes. Unbelievable job, guys. Murray. Several other greats also got their first win here. Buddy Baker, Charlie Glotzbach, and David Pearson. And lo and behold, you just finished with a top five. Yeah, you know, uh, Billy made a great call in the pits. Billy made a great call to, to and just said conserve fuel, but... I, I just said, it seems like i got to have Coke Zero or Coca-Cola or Mellie Yala, something on the car. Uh, the best, uh, last time I run this good was when I drove for Felix, and uh, he came by and congratulated us, and that was big. But my pit crew has stepped it up tremendously, and Everham Engines, I can't say enough for them. I hate Bill Pink sitting at home, man, because he's, he's held tolls, who's our engine tuner, and we, they got the most out of it tonight. But.